So, two weeks ago, I was not able to complete a project update video. This week was looking just as bad, between finishing episode 37 late, work being busy, and parts for the airship arriving late. But I didn't want to leave you with nothing again, so I decided to make just a quick update for this week. The biggest development is that I am now working with these new high-efficiency solar cells. So this is a small test panel I wired up so I could see what these new panels can do. Now this tiny and lightweight solar panel actually produces more power than my old panel here, which is way bigger and heavier. In fact, it's so big it doesn't even fit in the frame. Oh well, it's much bigger, that's the point. But in my measurements, this much smaller one is producing about 24 watts, whereas this much larger one is only producing 20 in full daylight. So that's just incredible to me. Now, there are some trade-offs. The new panels are crystalline, uh, and they're very fragile. Whereas the old ones uh, are flexible and, and very durable. Uh, so I'm going to have to protect these new ones. And even though they are higher power, they are low voltage with high amps. So that makes them tricky to wire. Just because it's very easy to make a small wire carry a high voltage uh, and low amperage than it is the other way around. Uh, uh, in order to carry high amperage, you need a pretty thick wire, which we want to avoid. But uh, yeah, so I just wire them up in such a way that they're in series, so the voltage is increased, and uh, we get the job done. And overall, I'm still getting more power for less weight. So of course, I'm not going to complain about that. Well, that's about it for this week. Uh, my next project is to wire these up with my motor and control systems and demonstrate it running all day. And if things go my way, possibly all night as well. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.